Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing five first impressions for you and this is kind of the look that I came up with. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching and if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. So I will be testing out five products that are new to me, but they're not necessarily new on the market. So um, let's get started. The first product we're going to try out is from Burt's Bees. This is the blush in the shade Toasted Cinnamon. So this is what it looks like. I like the stamped pattern in it. It kind of looks like a beehive, which makes sense because it's Burt's Bees. Um, I will say the packaging feels a little bit cheap, but I've heard really good things about this blush. So as long as the product actually works, then I don't really care what the packaging looks like. So I'm just going to put a little bit of, of it on my brush. All right, so it looks more harsh on camera than it does in real life. Um, it's definitely a really warm blush. I liked the formula of it. I think that was really nice. Um, it feels buttery. It almost looks like a bronzer. It's like an orangey brown shade, which a lot of bronzers are those shades. I do like it. I think if your skin is a little bit more fair like mine is, you have to use a very light hand. And we'll blend everything out after everything else is done. So the next product we're gonna try out is from Milani. This is their um, highlighter in the shade 02 Day Glow. So we're gonna open this up. And this is what the shade looks like. It's a really pretty, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty subtle highlight, which is totally fine. So I'm just gonna dip my brush in. Oh, it's actually showing up decently well. I don't know if you're picking that up on camera, but yeah, this is actually really, really pretty. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of, of it on my finger and take it down the center of my nose. Yeah, I think that actually is super pretty. Um, I, I love Milani. Almost every product I try from them is really good and I really enjoy it. So. Um, so far, I really like this. We'll see how it wears throughout the day. All right, the next product that I'm going to be trying out is from Urban Decay. This is the All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. This was sent to me from Octoly, which is really cool because you get to try out products. Um, I've never tried this one out and I'm super excited to try it. So one of my tricks, if my blush or if any of my makeup is not really like meshing together or blended very well, I'll use setting spray and then I will use my beauty blender or sponge, whatever, um, and just kind of dab over all of my makeup again. And it usually will melt all of your makeup back together. So I'm hoping that it'll kind of tone down this blush a little bit and also help my makeup last. I don't know if you're supposed to shake this first or what, let's see. Yeah, it says shake it before you use it. Okay, so let's test out the sprayer. Oh, that actually seems like a really nice sprayer. I actually really liked that. Um, it doesn't smell bad at all. It's a super nice sprayer and it evenly mists your entire face. It was actually really nice. I can't really tell if it looks any different on camera, but it definitely looks much more blended in person. Moving on, the next product I'm going to be trying out is from Smashbox. It's a little eyeshadow duo, and I got this in my Play by Sephora box this month, and it is the Covershot Golden Hour Eyeshadow Duo in the shades Turned On and Psyched. And so this is what it looks like. They're both shimmer shades, so I'll swatch them really quick for you. So both of them look super, super pretty. Um, I think I'm going to do the lighter pink shade. Mm, yeah. I think I'm just going to put some of that blush, the toasted cinnamon blush, into my crease really quick. And then I'm going to put um, the lighter pink shimmer shade all over my lid. All right, now that I have that um, blush in my crease, I'm just going to apply 
the lighter shade this one all over my eyelid and I think I'm just gonna do that with my fingertip we'll see how it works out Alright, so I just put that lighter color all over my lids and I kind of wanted to do a more subtle and natural look today So I think it worked out perfectly. I'm gonna finish up my eyes and then I will be right back All right, I just put on um, some eyeliner and mascara and now on to the last product I'm gonna try out. This is from makeup forever. It is the artist rouge cream lipstick and I don't know if the color is artist rouge or if that's the formula, but the color says that it's C211 so, and this also came in my Play by Sephora box this month. So it comes in the cutest little sample packaging. And, okay, the lipstick packaging, it doesn't start, the stick doesn't start until like right here. So it's a lot of packaging for a tiny little product. Um, this color looks so, super pretty though. So we will see. I'm just going to put this on really quick. And I don't think that this is, I think this is a creamy lipstick. It's not um, supposed to be matte or anything. Yeah, it just says creamy. It doesn't say the finish. Okay, so this is the color. I actually really love this formula. It is super comfortable and I like that it's not matte. I'm kind of over the matte lip situation. So I really like that this is just kind of a creamy formula. It's like a satin finish. So overall, I liked every single thing I tried. The only thing that I just need to kind of adjust how I use is the Burt's Bees. This was a little bit dark at first, so I just need to be a little bit a lighter handed. Um, but yeah, I did really like this. I really loved the Milani highlighter and then the setting spray. It definitely, um, kind of like set my makeup down and it's kind of like budge proof now. So I really like that. And then I love the way that my eyeshadow turned out. I have to try the other shade, um, the darker shade, but the lighter shade I really, really like. I think it's super pretty on the eyelids. And then the lipstick, I really loved this formula. Um, it's definitely not transfer proof Like you can see it will definitely wear um, But that's because it's not a matte formula. It's definitely a creamy and um, Like satin finish formula, which I'm totally fine with So I think if you wear a lip liner, this will be great And then you can just put it in your purse and reapply it when you need to I don't know that this is a shade that I would wear all the time, but I don't know if they have a, a big shade range because if so I could definitely see myself going and getting a more neutral shade that I would wear kind of more regularly but the formula is definitely amazing alrighty guys that is everything for this video I hope that you enjoyed my five first impressions I will link everything that I mentioned down below in the bottom bar um, I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos thanks so much for watching bye guys